We've got hardened steel nozzles, we've got tungsten carbide nozzles, and we even have nozzles tipped in rubies. A new one just came out. This one has got diamonds. Let's take a look. So what we have here is a diamondback nozzle. This is tipped in diamonds. And I'll admit, when I went to look them up, and I find this company called Champion X, and you go to their website, and they're all about oil field technologies. I was a little confused, just like you might be confused by this segue to our sponsor, Friendship. This video is because a buddy of mine sent me one of these Diamondback nozzles. He is looking to get into these, but doesn't really have the time to do the testing, and quite frankly, wants to see it in a video, so. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I also appreciate when you like the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This is not a cheap nozzle, and I really want to thank a good buddy of mine. I'm not going to name him, but you know who you are, obviously. I've been sending you random photos throughout the day of me scratching glass with this. Spoiler alert, it happens. But if you do want to support this channel so we can do fun things like buy nozzles with diamonds in them, you can do so by supporting us over at Patreon, patreon.com slash 3D Musketeer. So tier starting as low as $1 or click that join button right below this video. Anyways, let's get back into it. And yes, my friends are cooler than yours. <laughs> so this nozzle, let's talk about it. The unboxing experience is actually kind of nice. It's got a small box. Inside, you'll find a aluminum enclosure with a laser engraved Diamondback Nozzles logo on a piece of acrylic. And the opening experience is quite lovely. It's a good sound. And on the back, we've got a QR code as well as diamondbacknozzles.com. It takes you to Champion X, who, yeah, um, they do oil field stuff. But this is actually the product of a Kickstarter, which is pretty darn cool because normally I'm all for middle fingers to Kickstarters because generally speaking, they don't do great. The team at Champion X are utilizing a polycrystalline diamond structure, which is, as far as I can tell, is just diamond dust embedded into a carrier material that makes it incredibly hard. It's not obviously a jewel grade diamond in here. It's black, in fact, which is what leads me to believe it's not pure diamond, but there's some sort of carrier material in there that allows it to not only be molded to whatever you want, but also then bored because the nozzle orifices I don't think are built into the actual device itself. I believe they are post-drilled. Just the way it looks, it looks really clean. And something we'll show you, they have so much detail on these things. These nozzles are crazy strong that even, yes, as you can see, have little logos and engravings on them. It's kind of ridiculous. So they're doing some sort of press where they're forcing the diamond and the carrier material together to then where it becomes sinterable then you can center it out and then press it into the nozzle itself now a lot of you that might have dealt with the olsen ruby nozzle know that you need to be very 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 careful about how much torque that you apply when you insert the nozzle i'm not seeing any of this with this particular nozzle but i've also never installed it on a printer that's coming soon. Let us know down in those comments if you guys want me to put it on a hot end, and these are all gonna be V6 hot ends, that are fully kitted out, right? Copper block, titanium heat break, the works, or if you want me to go with a stock E3D V6. In my opinion, this makes more sense to go on something that's been upgraded to the nines already, but I'll go with whatever you guys want. We're gonna do things testing everything from regular PLA all the way up to carbon fiber filled materials and glass fiber filled materials that would normally take a brass nozzle and make it completely useless within, oh, I don't know, 100 grams or so. And uh, yeah, I made a ring because if you like it, then you should put a ring on it. And that means a guy friend bought me a diamond. But we can see that they are printing any filament without compromise. No nozzle change required. It improves layer adhesion and quality. We're going to test that in a future video. Has a solid diamond tip, not a diamond coating. Can confirm it is absolutely solid. Easier to clean and reduces tip clogging. 
I don't know about that. Unmatched wear resistance. Yeah, it's diamonds. It's going to wear better than basically any material on the planet. Lowers required operating temperature. I can see that being a thing because, of course, diamond has a much higher factor of thermal conductivity than brass or stainless steel or even tungsten carbide. But by how much? We're going to run temp towers and find out. And of course, it's made in the USA, which, yeah, that begs the question. These things are 90 five us dollars and we'll link to them down in the description if you guys want to pick some up over on amazon they're good nozzles but are they worth basically a hundred dollars i don't know just yet i will say they are individually serialized for those wondering mine is serial number three nine two seven eight zero three and yeah it is a very very tiny serial number look at that you can see it on the flat there we can see that it is incredibly hard even compared to a ruby or tungsten carbide over double the hardness of a ruby itself i'm gonna be curious if you need to torque this down to a special amount there's not too much information here i would prefer to see more they go to testimonials thermal expansion coefficient of friction all that stuff we got the diamond difference diamond centering conditions which is you know where you need to be for something like this but i don't see anything about installation if there is anything specific you need to do for installation so i'm gonna go with no since it's not obvious that there is but this is kind of cool when kickstarters actually work out and they do good we can see some nice prints here longer life as they were saying and the nozzle should not exceed temperatures of 300 degrees centigrade which does suck but yeah you're gonna get close to the centering temperatures for whatever the carrier material is for this so yeah i i totally understand and yes this is an actual diamond we did some scratch tests where you can see that the standard brass nozzle doesn't do a whole lot of any good the hardened steel nozzle just skips right off the surface but the diamond nozzle oh a uh, warning or not warning could be asmr scratches right into a stock creality build plate so of course nothing of value was lost here We can see that it is compatible with any 3D printer that uses the M6 thread pattern. Basically, it's V6 compatible, right? It's E3D V6 compatible, so it will work just fine. Obviously, don't take it into the high temp range, but up to 300C, so it'll run just fine on Prusas, of which you can see some in the background there. We can see on Amazon, where they're easily able to be purchased, they run about $95, so there's a 5% coupon. Or you can get the three pack of a 0.4, a 0.6, and a 0.8 for 260 US dollars. Now, we've talked about affordable printers on this channel before. We'll card to that video so you guys can take a look. This is more expensive than most of the printers on that list at 260 bucks for three nozzles. So, yeah, I, I don't really see the average Ender 3 user putting a $100 hot end on their $200 printer. But I think if you're taking abrasive printing seriously, this might be something to take a look at. We are going to be printing a lot of stuff with abrasives here coming up some personal projects some things that we will show some things that we can't show but i'm curious to see how this thing actually performs it's really all i got for this thing it is a nice nozzle i like it i think it's well machined it's well built and they've done some really cool features like having a four on the point four as well as having the diamond back logo that's pretty cool it's completely unnecessary but pretty damn cool and i'll say it does add to the cool factor of this thing quite a bit individual serialization is nice too in case there is a bad batch they're able to track all of that we'll include the link to the ring on printables because if you like it then you should put a ring on it that's all i got for you guys today make sure to leave a comment below of what you want to see printed with this nozzle maybe we'll do some time lapses of it although that might add an extra variable that i'm not too fond of for the time lapse but you know if i get enough likes and comments maybe we'll get that done but anyway stay safe out there don't forget to call your loved ones and as always keep making awesome have a good one hey thanks so much for watching this video and if you want to see a full length asmr unboxing nozzle scratching and all of this of the diamondback nozzle make sure you go and join our patreon where we are going to be releasing that video on cut i do want to give an especially big thank you to all of our patreon and youtube channel member supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the five dollar tier and higher right below me will be the e3d revo first look video where i take a look at something that is unfortunately not compatible with this nozzle but still awesome 
nonetheless. And right next to that will be a perfectly picked video made especially for you. I will see you guys down in those comments and in the next one. Take care.